Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and guys today It's Tuesday. We're gonna cover the news and yeah, you guys can see right here uh, I got really lucky and I was able to pull two Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth So I'm just waiting before I make him a seven star because I want to enjoy the beautiful view that I have right here with my boy Sora in the back But I gotta say he's pretty pretty amazing, but we're not here for that. We're here for the news. So let's go right into it. We're going to go into event. And uh, we're going to have the Heartless Behemoth battle on uh, Friday the 27th. And I got to say, it looks really, really cool. So let's see what Mr. Kupo has to say. When its HP falls below a certain point, it will begin to use powerful attacks more often, Kupo. It will use a powerful magic attack. The turn after the Behemoth's horn is a glow. Hmm, so prepare by raising your spirit, Kupo. You can gain an ad ad an, you can gain an advantage by exploiting its weakness to dark and by using beast killer Kupo. So I guess uh what's his name? Riku and uh, Sephiroth are gonna be really really good in this fight. A lot of dark damage. Then mission rewards, complete the quest, you get the solid necklace. It's an accessory defense 30, enable solid necklace, boost defense every turn. I don't know how much, but uh, if it's 130%, that thing is going to be really, really good. Use no more than three items. Basically, I don't think you're going to be using any items. You're going to get 10,000 raid coins. Party of five or less, one rare summon ticket, and defeat Behemoth's party within 15 turns. You get a 5% Moogle. Thank you very much. A new difficulty available. Oh, that's really cool. Complete the quest. White Fang Kingdom Hearts. Accessory attack and defense plus 15 MP 20%. Use no more than three items. Large body raid coins, 20,000. That's pretty good. Party of five or less, you get a four star ticket and defeat the behemoth party. Within 10 thirds, you get a 10% Moogle. So that's really, really cool. And obviously, these guys, uh, they can do a lot of dark damage. But this boy is going to be my piece. Uh, I got to say, you're beautiful, Sephiroth. Beautiful. Then we're going to move on to the next one. And after that first collab, with um kingdom hearts now we get another collab with uh, dragon quest 11 so event dungeon versus malicious monster so this is going to be a, a king mog event it's going to start friday like always you can get some or some tickets you're going to get the currency for the event which is uh Dracilin guinea that's going to be the currency event elite quest you get 500 lapis so that's always always good and uh, let's see what mr mog has to sell in his little shop the Falcon Blade, attack 90, it's a sword, enables Falcon Blade, normal attack hits two times. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's something similar to, um, what's her name, Lightning's TMR, where uh, the, the Aurora Scarf, whatever, whenever you do a single attack, basically she hits a second time, even though you don't have dual wield. Then you can get the Cat Suit, defense 21, magic 32, boost ice and dark resistance by 10%. Elevating Shoes enables uh, Boost Charm Resistance by 20% and XP ex obtained from battle, which is alright, which is alright. You can exchange for other items such as a 4-star guaranteed ticket, rare summon tickets, and lightning keys and 5-star trust moogles. That's really, really nice. Get the Dragon Quest 11S Special Unit Summoning Keys Silver as an event point reward. You guys will see exactly what these keys are for in a minute. Get a lot of uh, Drazilian Guineas, Golden Bomb. And uh, Golden Globe, these monsters, whenever they show up, they basically increase the currency that you're going to be getting at the end of it. And uh, Plant Killer is good. And uh, Demon Killer is also really, really good. So these are going to be the bonus units. And uh, I got to say, they look pretty cool. I, they look pretty cool. They look pretty cool. So let's go into the banner itself. So Featured Summon Dragon Quest 11. So you're going to be able to summon for more Dagon and Great Dragon, which is a 4-star to 6-star. And this guy is the 5-star into 7-star. So let's see what we have right here then step up summon limited to one per player uh 4, lapis each so it's twenty thousand lapis not that bad and uh, i see you can exchange some uh, some coins for a uh, super trust model that's really nice here then first step nine plus two you get a gold key second step you get a gold key third step eight plus two plus one so basically you're guaranteed a rainbow which is really really nice especially for twelve thousand lapis not that bad and you get that beautiful key that we're going to see what they're used for Step four, another 4,000, you get another key and those coins. And step five, you're guaranteed one more Dagon. Is that his name? Yeah, more Dagon. You're guaranteed one more Dagon. And it uh, doesn't mean you won't be getting any more during those uh, that step up, which is really, really nice. So let's see more Dagon exactly. He's a mage. 
Uh, Super Trust Master is really, really nice. Mordegon Staff, 180 magic. That's crazy. Chance of evading some magic attack and uh, restore MP every turn. That's really good also. Uh, Trust Master Reward, Mordegon, Mordegon's Cloak. It's an accessory. Defense, 22. Magic, 50. Ooh, boost dark resistance by 40%. Man, that magic 50 is really nice right there. Uh, featured ability, Disruptive Wave, Dragon Quest 11S. One use every 12 turns. We remove some status boost for all enemies. So it's like a big dispel, but is it going to do something else? Maybe. We don't know yet uh, since the Dana Mine did not came out on uh, the unit. Then Black Broom, deal dark magic damage and reduce dark resistance for all enemies. If that's something around 120%, that's going to be really, really good. And uh, Unbridled Chaos, deal fire, ice, and light magic damage to all enemies. That's pretty cool. Whenever you have more than one, uh, one element being attacked, that's really, really nice. So you can cover three elements right here with that single attack, which is pretty cool. Then Dragon Quest. Uh, the great Gra uh, the great dragon sorry is tmr is not that bad a uh, way of the dragon boost attack by 20 percent and boost attack by 40 percent with equipped with this so that's a nice 60 percent right there but other than that uh i don't think you're gonna be using him for more he looks pretty cool but that's pretty much all he does right there then notices we're gonna go right here uh i think it's that one here no that's katie perry all right we're gonna go right here so basically introducing the new collaboration campaign between Final Fantasy Brave Exodus and Kingdom Hearts Union X starting from Friday the 20th. So basically that's the thing that they were say. Uh, the second you, when you, whenever you start playing both games a little bit more, uh, we're going to be able to, uh, I'm going to read the thing. I'm going to read right there. The number of people participating in the collaboration quest and specific mission in Kingdom Hearts Union X will determine the reward such as unique collaboration equipment that players can receive in Final Fantasy Brave Exodus. It's a lot easier like that than whatever I was going to say. So uh, the more people play uh, Kingdom Hearts Union X and the more quests you do in there, the better the rewards we're going to have in the FFB. That's pretty much all they're saying right there, which is amazing. Exchange shop, like you guys saw for more Dagon's quest, you're going to be able to exchange those beautiful coins for more stuff uh then i want to see the silvers yeah the keys uh, that's the keys right there so uh we're gonna be able to get some keys and with the keys you'll be able to summon for other characters which is really really nice so dragon quest uh 11 s limited time silver exchange 11 veronica and serena players whoop that's a little bit too fast players can use five dragon quest 11 s special units summoning keys silver to perform one dragon quest limited time silver exchange so for you five keys you can exchange for 11 veronica or serena which is really really cool each uh exchange allows the player an equal chance to obtain 11 veronica or serena then you got the gold uh, the gold keys basically players can use five dragon quest special units summoning gold keys to perform one dragon quest as limited time gold exchange 11 veronica or serena each uh, each exchange allows the player to obtain the unit featured on the respective banner 11 from 11's banner Veronica and uh, Veronica's from B Veronica's banner and Serena from Serena's banner. So it basically gives you a chance to obtain either of these character, whichever you're summoning on. But let's go and see the stats on these units because they're all five star going into seven star, which is really really nice. Uh, 11 basically Supreme Sword of Light. That's a super trust master. It's a sword attack 180. Boost Supreme Sword of Light, boost LB damage, and his Trust Master. It's basically a helm. Attack 40, defense 21, and guess what? Boost LB damage, which is really, really cool. His featured abilities, uh, Jigagash. One use every eight turns. It's really small. I have a hard time to see. Uh, one use uh, every eight turns. Reduce fire and lightning resistance and damage all enemies. Then he has Falcon Slash, damage one enemy two times, and Flame Slash deal fire damage to all enemies which is really really nice veronica or super trust master crown of eternity it's a hat defense 34 magic 61 and spirit 32 enables crown of eternity reduces mp consumed by abilities by 30 percent not bad at all then her trust master uh channel anger boost magic by 40 percent and boost equipment magic when a single weapon is equipped with both hands thank you very much featured abilities uh, magic Burst, deal partial and mitigated ma magic damage to all enemies two times. Aurora of Arbia, one use every three turns, restore an own MP, and uh, next turn boost damage of certain abilities. Damn, they could have made that a little bit bigger. 
And uh, then she has Kakrak, deal ice magic damage to all enemies. Then the last one, we got Serena right here, which is a healer. Super Trust Master Reward, Divine Intervention, boost SPR by 60% and escape death one time when HP is above a certain point. That's really nice. That's really, really nice, actually. Then her Trust Master Reward, Serenica, uh, Serenica's, is that it? Serenica's Surplus, Defense 32, Magic 29, Spirit 67, Nullify Confusion, enables Serenica's uh, Surplus, boost MP by 10% and boost resistance to charm. Pretty cool. Now, this one is really small to read, but I'm going to try my best. Featured abilities, Serena's Salvation, one use every 10 turns, revive and fully restore all allies, cures poison, blind, sleep, silent, paralysis, confusion, disease, stone, fully restores HP, and uh, wait, for those allies who were not petrified, remove attack, defense, magic, and spirit reduction, remove stop and charm, and automatically revives all allies one time. Damn, that's a big one. That's a big move right here. Then Soul of the Saintness consumes own LB uh, gauge to fill LB gauge and restore MP for one ally. That's pretty good. So it's like an entrust, but a little bit better than entrust. Then Snap, Crackle, Proof. Man, that's hard. Boost, Poison, Blind Sleep, Silent Paralysis, Confusion, Disease, Stop, Stone, and Charm Resistance, and Boost Resistance to Reduction to Attack, Defense, Magic, and Spirit for one ally. All right, so that's not for the whole party. If that was for the whole party, that thing would be really, really strong. So let's see right here. Special unit summoning keys can be acquired through the Dragon Quest 11 step up summon and featured 10 plus one summon. Uh, the Dragon Quest 11 special unit summoning keys can be acquired through the event versus malicious monsters. So the silver ones you're going to be get, able to get from the King Mog and the gold ones you will be able to get them from the step up summon, which is going to be really, really cool, actually. I'm excited to see the way this works, actually. Uh, head over to the summon screen, select the limited time banner, uh, the limited time tab, and tap the Dragon Quest, limited time, silver exchange, Elena, whatever. Elena, Veronica, Serena, Dragon Quest, limited gold time exchange. So whichever you're going to be using on, you can use the gold keys or the silver keys for the unit that you want to summon on. Uh, personally, I don't know. I might go for uh, Veronica, actually. Uh, I, li I, li I like magic damage users magic damage well we'll see we'll see how many keys i get and everything but that's really cool i like the way they did it actually this time uh do we have one more do we have one more uh i think this is the one yeah yeah so we're gonna have an event battle also challenge characters from dragon quest 11 once per day complete the characters battle to receive lapis and clear the mission to receive various super sight trust moogles and restore energy pretty cool that's gonna start on friday so that's gonna be an event that you can do daily and uh, this one right here, Dragon Quest XI Echoes of Elusive Age collaboration. So we will be holding a Dragon Quest XI collaboration for the global version of FFB around the same time as the Japanese version. So uh, what they're saying right here, I'm going to make a lot shorter. Uh, they're basically telling a little bit like they did for Riku and Sephiroth that uh, the character, the abilities and everything are going to be uh, based on where the global version is and where the Japanese version is. So right here, however the abilities and parameters of Mordegon uh, 11 and uh, Veronica, Serena, and Great Dragon, the units available for this collaboration would differ from that of their Japanese counterparts. Since the Japanese version is a little bit further away, well, obviously they can't make the characters super, super strong right now, or else uh, they're going to be broken, and uh, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. I know some of you guys want that, but that's not all that we want. Then, uh, I don't want to click on it, because basically the story continues, and uh, I looked at it, and you guys will be able to get Anima as a 3-star on this one. So yeah, cool news. We went from one collab to another one. So Dragon Quest XI. So guys, let me know if you still have some resources, tickets, whatever. Are you going to pull on that banner? Uh, for myself, I don't think I'm going to pull on the banner since I was never a Dragon Quest fan. And uh, I never played Dragon Quest. But uh, I'm going to try to keep some resources. And look at that. I was lucky enough. I know when to stop. That was all my luck that went into these two bad boys. Because basically the way it happened, uh, I did the second step. So let's go right here. I'm just going to show you guys in case you still in case you still want to know. I went right here. I did the second step so you guys can see. Bam. Second step is done. I got one rainbow. It was a uh, Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth. Then right away after we got that beautiful four star ticket. I used that ticket and right away I got a rainbow that came down and it was Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth. So guys, my luck is done in this game. So I'm good with that. I got my Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth. I'm going to pair him up with another Sephiroth. And they're going to do tons of damage because they're amazing together. On this note, 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Let me know if you guys are going to summon for the Dragon Quest units. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.